32,000 miles per hour, NASA's Cassini probe dives through the geysers of Enceladus in search for life-giving water. One of 22 sorties over the frozen world. When Cassini flew through the plumes that are shooting out of Enceladus, it actually had a chance to taste these plumes, to smell them, to see what they're made out of. After an agonizing wait, the data confirms that the geysers erupting from the icy moon are liquid water. The discovery of these icy water vapor jets on Enceladus is probably the most important discovery of the entire Cassini mission. But water is only the first ingredient for life. The other essential components are salt and heat. Going deeper into the plume, the spacecraft collected particles and showed that they had salt in it. That's a big deal. Scientists believe salt interacting with chemicals from underwater volcanoes could be how all life begins. There's chemistry that happens when water, especially salty water, is in contact with a rocky surface. The water inside Enceladus that's being sprayed out into space has a salinity that matches Earth's oceans. That's huge. Further readings reveal the oceans on Enceladus are astonishingly similar to our own. There were elements in the plume that clearly showed that the water in the ocean was hydrothermal. Something within Enceladus is heating the water. Heat is the final missing ingredient in the quest for life, the catalyst for the chain reaction that kick-started life on Earth. It's got everything we were hoping to find. It's got evidence of liquid water, organics, nitrogen, energy source. It was, it was unbelievable. It's not just water, it's, it's the soup that we think was creative of life. If there's a recipe for life, Enceladus has it. When we saw this activity on Enceladus, I stopped calling it a moon. I started calling it a world. It is now possible that we will encounter alien life on another world, one accessible with existing human technology. Based on the history of life on Earth, we should have every reason to expect that there should be life on Enceladus.